Hi, this is Miho Tanaka of Tech Berlin at Tech Open Air, and I'm here with Ushka Shoshen. Um, I hope I pronounced that right? Yes. Perfect, thank you. Um, so Ushka is the um, COO and founder of Bellabeat, um, and I, I love what you guys are building, so I, yeah, if you could tell us more about it. Well, thank you. Yeah, Balabi is a company that is developing devices and wearables for tracking health of women. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to help them uh, with our products throughout different stages of their life. Mm -hmm. um, our first product was a device and an app that allowed future moms to listen to their baby's heartbeat while still in the womb and then That's share beautiful. the experience with their loved ones. Cool. And we just launched our second product, uh -huh. which is called The Leaf, uh -huh. and it's a smart piece of jewelry yes. that helps women to track their activity, sleep, uh -huh. breathing, and menstrual cycle yes. so that yeah. they get insights into their well-being and learn how to change their lifestyle for the healthier. That's, that's really cool because, I mean, uh, once I started tracking my uh, period through my period app, like Clue, I mean, it, yeah. I didn't realize how much it would change my life. It was yeah, it was phenomenal. But so exactly. how, how, does, how does it track your menstrual cycle yeah. through the device? So the device itself doesn't track your menstrual cycle. Uh -huh. You insert your data into the app. Right. But then the device can help you remind yourself about um, upcoming ovulation or uh -huh. pill intake or upcoming period. Right. But the most important thing is that you, in the interface of the app, uh -huh. you see all this data combined. So on your right. sleeping and activity and right. breathing exercises and so forth, so that you see how all this information is correlated uh -huh. and how everything influences is your general well-being and right. you know day-to-day -day, you know uh, f uh, being and and how you can influence it uh -huh. to to feel better and be healthier. That's really cool. What what kind of senses are on the? Uh, so the leaf you you wear it as a as a as a necklace or uh -huh. a bracelet yeah. or as a brooch. So you just clip it on on your clothes. So it's cool. really easy to wear uh -huh. and it's also really easy to 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 use because it tracks your movement. Uh -huh. So everything it, is it tracks is uh -huh. through movement. So you don't have to be concerned about skin contact or right. wearing it at a special place or right. so forth. So right. the, po the the main idea is you you put on the device, uh -huh. you wear it and you get the information when uh -huh. you want it yeah. in the app. Yeah. Cool. And so, uh, what you know, what inspired you to create this kind of thing? Yeah. So w when we started developing products for pregnant women, so uh -huh. when we started developing systems in prenatal care, mm -hmm. we got into space because we, as a company, before were developing professional remote patient monitoring systems uh -huh. for prenatal care. So we got involved with you know women's health and yeah. um, professional care for women, and uh -huh. this is where we found that there is a huge lack of um, devices and products available mm -hmm. to yeah. women using users to, to track their health. So yeah. the devices that were available were not specifically adjusted uh -huh. to female users. Yes. So not just in how they look like, uh -huh. so they were clunky and cold yeah. and hard to use, but also um, in you know the features. So yes. um, other wearables on the market um, that are were existing before, none of them focused on tracking women's health, actually. Right. They were just right. like, you know, ignoring it. Uh -huh. So yeah. um, we wanted to, you know, fill that gap in the market and offer users yes. uh, something that is designed specially for them. Yeah. Well, because I, I remember there was a huge outcry when um, Apple brought out yeah. their health app and it didn't have a... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it tracked yeah. like all this you know, obscure things right, that you yeah. don't even think about. Yeah, yeah. But then, you know, it doesn't track your period, yeah. which is probably the first thing that right. people ever tracked yeah. because it's yeah. reoccurring yeah. and it's, you know, very, you know, normal yeah. natural cycle. And yeah. it's very important to observe yeah. because yeah. it's a huge chunk of, yeah. you know, women's health and yeah. very important for your reproductive health. Absolutely. So, I mean, because physically we we're quite different as well in terms of body temperature and even yeah. skin conductivity and i remember when the first touch screens came out it was sexist in a way that um because our skin conductivity is different mm. women couldn't like yeah the, the touch screens didn't yeah. work as well for women yeah um just because of physiology what kind of special kind of concerns do you have to have in building um you know a app yeah um, 
um, so that it works, you know, it, it's suitable for women. women. Yeah. Yes. So in terms of, you know, features that we built in the app uh -huh. are, you know, we focus on the reproductive health of women. Right. So by that, it's, you know, by default, especially designed for, yeah. for a female user. But we also wanted to de design you know, a wearable that is focusing on their lifestyle, not yes. so much on just on fitness. Right. Because a lot of products that were um, meant to be tracking health, they uh -huh. were actually uh, focused on fitness. Yes. And it's great when you're, you know, working out a lot uh -huh. and you're proud of yourself, but yeah. you know, because of our everyday lifestyle, we fall off the wagon yes. pretty quickly, yeah. myself as well. And yeah. then yeah. when you stop training, when you stop ra running, there's nothing outside of it then mm -hmm. left for you to track yeah. because it, the systems didn't offer you anything um, outside of that focus. Yeah. So we wanted to change that um, in terms of software yeah. uh, to, to develop a lifestyle product for a normal, um, you know, casual uh, wo working woman. Yes. Um, and then in terms of how we designed the devices, it was very important for us that uh, women would want to wear our device even if it didn't do anything. Yeah as a piece of jewelry yes. it has to be you know aesthetically appealing but also we wanted we were thinking a lot what kind of materials we want to use for mm -hmm. our devices so that we would you know break the cold and clunky surface yes. of tech and offer them something that is warm and appealing yes. um, that is completely different than anything um, else on the market so that's why we used um, natural wood for the yeah. casing and then we used the, the stainless steel for the clip so that right. it's hypoallergenic so that yes. it doesn't cause any skin reactions cool. yeah. but it, it also has this you know jewelry aesthetics yeah. um, that women you know uh, like yeah. and you know this is something that um, you know it hasn't been offered before yes no I, yeah as I say I love it I think it's beautiful and it, and it does a beautiful thing Thanks. Um, so in, anyway so to uh, on to take open air is this your first time here at take open air yes yeah? yes it is it's first time cool and and what what was your first impressions of it were you here yesterday like did you have a look no around? unfortunately yeah. I was uh, you know I fell ill so oh, I, I'm I sorry couldn't to hear come that. yesterday yeah. but I was yeah. planning yeah uh, but um, you know it's it's actually much bigger than I expected cool. and it's yeah. really really cool venue yeah um, so I think it has you know just by by having that it has yeah. this appeal that attracts a lot of you know young and creative people yeah. Uh, yeah which is really nice cool and are there any talks or events that you're looking forward to seeing while you're here at, at um, yeah I mean I'm definitely gonna be seeing a couple of talks but I'm really excited about the you know music thing going cool. on outside that's yeah. really nice yeah um, and I'm also impressed by this you know cor connection with the with the with the art and like uh -huh. the installations downstairs so I'm gonna to check that out as well um, as my background is actually in fine art so that's so <laughs> yeah, cool so I'm really interested to see that very nice well cool thank you very much for your time and telling us more about Bella Beat um, as I say wonderful product and yeah um, thank you for inviting me thanks okay